I've been having so many epiphanies and flashbacks of cards that I got like four years ago when I first opened my first tarot deck. And the King of Swords has always been there. And for some reason, I remember being called to pick cards that signified certain people in my life. And even then, the King of Swords was my father, my earthly father. Okay. And so let's go deeper. I asked my brother because there was a video that I watched earlier and it said, who did this to you? Right. It's on my, it's on my Facebook page. And it was my brother giving me a message, a way he helps me heal. So I want to show y'all how my healing process goes. So I get downloads like that, messages from my spirit guides and my ancestors on what needs to be healed still. And for me, it's letting go of mental manipulation. And for me, the mental manipulation has always come from my father. My father has always instilled within me the opposite of what my destiny should be, right? This has some ties to past life things, the hermit. We know the hermit is that ghost in the room, right? We know the hermit is the spirit guide. We know the hermit is, you know, the illuminated one, the enlightened one. And, and you know, my past life, I was the hermit. So there's some past life karma. There's, pa there's past life karmic debt here when it comes to my father and me. And it's probably why he is my father in this lifetime. It's probably why he's been chosen to be the vessel, right? To have to go through these things to be able to understand what karma is and what it looks like. I asked what my father was manifesting for me right now. I asked my brother to tell me. And again, it's ironic. My brother and my father didn't get along. My brother passes on. He's the one that's guiding me. You see? You see how life works? You just never know. You just never know how things are going to happen. But this man has been in my life since I have been in this life and has always been a force of negativity in my life from childhood. From childhood, I was abused. My father was in and out of the home, right? My parents' marriage wasn't the best. Everybody want to talk about my situation, so hey, right? It wasn't at all what it appears. And as a child, I dealt with that. As a child, I saw a lot that I shouldn't have seen. And of course, I'm the high priestess, I'm the psychic. So there's people who have positions they want to uphold, even if it comes at the expense of their children, right? Those false reports, all these things that I had to endure because of this type of energy in my life as I'm trying to heal, evolve, and grow. So some people are having some bad karma right now. And it's because all those dark intentions and thoughts that you had researching me, watching me, stop spying on me, stalking me, just showing up at my house, doing weird stuff. It was all being watched. Hermit judgment, my ancestors, your son is gonna always be that ghost in the room that you're gonna feel. This is what my father was trying to project on me. Three swords, three of swords, heartbreak, betrayal, why? Because I'm who? The Queen of Swords, the Speaker of Truth, and the Queen of Pentacles. Stable. Six of Wands. Meant to be these things. But he was telling people, right? I was other than. Nine of Swords, he was projecting me thoughts of worry, thoughts of paranoia. He was sending me Dark Knight of the Soul energy. Five of Pentacles. He was hoping, wishing people would leave me. He was doing things that any person would leave a person for. Meaning by way of magic, by way of manipulation, by way of talking shit about me to whoever would listen in hopes that they would be so stressed out and so heartbroken that they would just abandon me or that I would be so stressed out and heartbroken by whatever the situations were in my life that maybe my mother wasn't strong enough to overcome, that because I did, I would be alone. Seven of Swords reverse. These are all swords. My father's an earth sign, but he has no heart. That's the secret that I'm coming to find. So my brother over here at this hermit, my Nana, my ancestors, my spirit guides, always come in and tell me, you're never alone. We're never going to leave you out in the cold. 
Everyone is not your enemy. Ten of Cups is yours. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords is yours. Sun is yours. Two of Cups, Ace of Wands. Queen of Cups is who you are. Two of Cups, Ten of Cups. This is who I am. This is what my own father, Seven of Swords in Reverse, wanted to cause me. Lack, homelessness, poverty, broke, busted, and disgusted, sleepless nights, and heartbreak. My father. Blood is thicker than water, though, right? But instead, I found that I was a twin, and I was a healer, and I was meant to heal many with my light. You see how God works? This ain't meant to make nobody mad. It's my truth. And I'm being extremely light with it. It could go a lot deeper. The things that people try to hide. I'm not perfect. I'm still going through my stuff. But I'm starting to learn that there are people who know way more about me than I even know about me. But it's fun to learn regardless. It's fun to learn regardless. What I also want to say is, King of Swords is an air sign normally if you're going by signs, right? You would say Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy, an air sign energy. But it's also just someone who is a mental person, meaning someone who thinks all facts, all logic, no emotion, right? Doing some magic, that's it's not a good mixture. They got bad karma for whatever they was manifesting. But the lovers is the card of Gemini, you see? Straight Gemini. King of Swords can be an air sign in general. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or not. So for me in my situation, being an actual twin, card of Gemini, people would do magic on my platform, hence my father, to confuse me of who the person was that was doing the magic in hopes that I would think it was my person, air sign. You see? I'm learning a lot. So as I learn, I will share. I'm not perfect. I didn't know all the things I know. But as I learn, I will teach and I will hope that we can all still see the grand picture of this all. We talked about this promise and this covenant that was protected. <clears throat> Forget about these fears. Nothing is unknown. Continue to walk in your purpose, just as I am. If we're being honest and real, this is my story, and I have a right to tell it the way I see fit. And all I will say is I am a twin who is healing and spreading messages of clarity to the collective of people who were promised the truth, and I will continue to do so.